it is not classy for you to open your mouth wow who asked you jesus died for us on the cross but you don't see him shouting up and down i can't believe i just gave out five thousand to Jeanette right now i'm such a nice person doesn't that sound weird like it doesn't no ah okay hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel as i written by the title today's video is going to be the power of silence so basically things that i think as a responsible human being as a woman with sense you should always keep private now i've been wanting to talk about this for the longest time but the, the thing is this could easily be controversial everyone has their different opinions on you know life people don't like to be told what to do when you try to push some certain opinions or put some certain opinions out there people can easily just take it the wrong way and you know what happens is the internet they just want to always fight you and attack you for everything that you say because obviously like you're telling people oh you shouldn't post this or you shouldn't say this or you shouldn't do this this is what i think about this and people easily get offended but since when has that ever stopped us on this channel we're going to talk about it today silence is powerful in so many situations in as much as it's easy to tell somebody be quiet or just keep short about some certain things in different situations it is hard being silent as easy as it sounds as easy as someone might just say shut up could be hard and there are so many situations where you get tested or you're just like you have the urge or you feel the impulse to attack situations say things you know just speak your mind because everyone wants to be heard right but silence is hard there are situations that will come up in your life and people will just come to you and be like oh if you were just quiet about it maybe you would not be where you are right now yeah i mean that's true because silence do hold a whole lot in different situations right it carries a lot it helps in a lot of situations but it's easier said than done silence is also key for emotional maturity which is something that we haven't touched yet on this channel but we will so we're going to open the chapter of the power of silence with this video i'm going to be giving you five things that i think as a human being a high value woman and just someone that has respect for themselves and awareness about their environment should keep quiet about okay now my first thing on this list is your relationship yes i'm sure when you read the title you already knew that this was definitely going to be like a topic in this topic you knew that you saw it coming because relationships are really touchy i mean i know that you can't really tell people what to do in their relationships because obviously it's their relationship so you're not in it with them feel free to do whatever you want to do but i'm going to explain the reason why i feel like you should keep quiet about your relationship now let's note one thing there is a huge difference between being a secret and being private in a relationship now you're not a secret you should never be someone's hidden lover you should never be someone's sneaky link well if that's what you want to do for the time being you can't be someone's sneaky link but it's your way your relationship is official like you're exclusive yes you should be private but you should not be a secret you're not hiding your lover you're not hiding your relationship from your friends your family like everyone knows you're in a relationship but they could know who you're in a relationship with but the details of your relationship what goes down behind closed doors your arguments your intimate moments all these things i just feel like that's too much that's tmi we don't need to know about it the public doesn't need to know about it <laughs> and most of it all social media doesn't need to know about it now i'm not coming for those people that have couple channels or couple pages and all of that yeah they like to post pictures about themselves for couple channels i i feel like they like to you know showcase their lives but i am 100 percent sure that they're not showing us everything they are only entertaining us with the bits that they can actually let us in in of their lives or in their lives however you could actually have a couple channel have a couple couples page or whatever it's called and still be private in your relationship we don't know what happens closed doors you're not coming to us every second to pour out your heart about your partner or your boyfriend your husband you know stealing your chicken or something we've been seeing a lot on social media these days like relationships like airing out you know they are the private situations and sometimes i can understand that situations just get out of hand they are completely out of your control and you're not able to you know tame things i know some situations are like that but that's the reason why i'm just like from the beginning you just have to set the boundaries it's your relationship you know how you want to carry it you sit down and have that conversation with your partner and 
come to an agreement on how you intend to build together privately publicly will never like public opinions will never ever ever do well for your relationship and this is not just social media just also the, the third party like discussing with friends discussing with family discussing your sister and this is not to say that you're not going to share your opinions or you're not going to ask for help or ask for advice if need be um about your relationship with your close your close people right but it's just that thing of like always dragging in someone into your relationship or people knowing the details like the core details of your relationship the world which we don't even know you personally knowing the details of your relationship it's not necessary and also let me say this again there is no problem or there isn't any issue with you posting your boyfriend on your instagram or posting your partner anywhere what happens to your relationship like further than those pictures that you're posting we don't need the details quite frankly we don't even care i'm going to be blunt with you like we don't care most of the time when people do these things like it's just for the ah uh, moment just for the cute moment and everyone is just like oh my god it looks so cute together but that's just it now the second thing that i think you should keep private is your finances now this one is actually a very delicate one because i think we all should know this thing but if you don't know let me tell you discussing your net worth discussing what how much you make discussing what you have in your bank account discussing exact details with people is uncomfortable can be uncomfortable to be honest i'm not saying not to have discussions about finances with your friends because quite frankly with my friends <laughs> we discuss finances a lot and it's mainly like okay i think i'm doing this right now um and i just feel like i'm I, I need to be doing more you know like what can i dabble in i need to double my hustle i need to up my game i need to do this i need to dabble into this. i need to you know get myself up and going i need more money basically that's just what it is we have these conversations like all the time but i'm talking about the situation where you literally just flat out talk about numbers you throw numbers here and there everyone has to know what you have in your bank account what you have in your savings what you earn how much specifically you earn i mean obviously like if someone is close to you like your close close friends you can share those details with them that's not a problem but obviously you need to trust your friends because in as much as we think we know people around us we trust people around us people can be funny people can be weird you could literally tell someone like out of just I don't know innocence just being naive and just tell somebody how much you make and then they just begin to build this inside hatred for you just because they are not earning up to that amount we've seen these things a lot of times like i don't even need to say it we have seen it and then there are just some people that it's just uncomfortable for them to hear numbers hear your numbers do you get what i mean whether it's low whether it's high it's just a, it's just an uncomfortable situation throwing numbers out there these are things that people want to work on privately and you should work on privately i mean i do understand that you need financial advice especially for someone who is who you think is doing way better than you i mean i get that but you can have that conversation without actually throwing numbers now again same for your relationship we as the public you know the social media family we don't need to know about your finances in fact that oneself we don't even want to give you advice truthfully we don't we don't want to give you advice we don't we don't want to know we don't want to know and i don't see any reason why you need to broadcast your financial situation with the world like i feel like that's just the heights of it all there's one thing to actually just come on, online and talk about how your boyfriend cheated on you or how your relationship is going or posting your boyfriend's head lips legs and all of that that's one thing but your financial situations your financial struggles your gains your wins we don't want to know there's this thing that really irritates me when i see men and women do it just not women on instagram is when they post money or like just trying to flex on the ground like oh i have it's tacky it screams poverty to me because it's like you're so excited to have that much money because you haven't seen that kind of money before you haven't touched that kind of money before yes it's fine be excited within in private but for you to want to show us ah that's just poverty that's smelling through the screen and don't come here and say oh okay i'm not posting it on my public story but i'm posting it on my private story there is no difference they are private and should remain private 
okay this is one of those that should be not just private but also a secret your finances is your secret you and god alone and maybe your spouse and maybe a few people that you it's a secret okay third thing that i recommend that you keep private is your future goals and plans now this one is so funny to me because i've seen a lot of people that literally give us a breakdown of what they intend to do without even having a plan on how they are going to achieve it listen i'm not saying that you shouldn't come on here and talk about all your aspirations and all that good stuff you can personally i do not stand with it because your goals and your future plans are supposed to be in works for yourself by yourself with yourself in your private space you're sitting down you're, you're drawing a plan on how you want your future to go i don't see any reason why a b c d e f has to have an input and again we are humans but we don't know it all you definitely do need advice from people you need to talk to people about some certain things that you're you're about to do some certain investments that you do for instance or let's say you want to get into a, a certain career path or a certain industry and you just need someone who has been in the industry to give you advice obviously in a situation like that you go to that person as a professional talk to them about what you want to do what your goals are in regards to that and then let them guide you and give you advice right but that's not you giving them the grand plan like don't add like laying everything out say okay i want to be a realtor and then in three years i want to do this i want to guide so i want to after learning after being in the business for three years i want to now open my own office and after opening my own office then i'm not open different branches in the uh -uh, uh -uh. that's too much that's too much details we don't need it people usually say this and honestly this happened a few times with me or for me as well when i shut up <laughs> when i basically shut up about something the tendencies of it actually going well is higher than when i literally let someone into the plan if that makes sense so when i just don't talk about it it just goes well and when i talk about it somewhere along the line it flops it's a thing it's a thing that's happened to me a couple times that I know for a fact that this is actually a thing. You could give surface level. There are people on YouTube that actually make this vision boards and stuff like New Year resolutions, how to make them. They teach you how to do this. They say, okay, watch me make mine. They put all of it together. I've seen a lot of these videos before. I do have a vision board for, you know, the year 2022. Um, I had to watch a couple videos to do one digitally, right? And she actually did show what her goals were or what she wanted for the year 2022 that's different she did not give us like a breakdown on how she's going to achieve each of those goals the fourth thing i'm going to recommend that you keep private is your weaknesses this is touchy because it's your weaknesses we're talking about right and for the most part i always say to be in touch with that part of yourself because you're able to work on your weaknesses and also able to help yourself grow improve when you're fully in touch with that part of you you know your flaws right in fact my entire channel is self-improvement we attack weaknesses flaws shortcomings every single video right so that's fine and i've i've literally i've shared my weaknesses and you know toxic traits and all that stuff with you guys my concerns i have right but you see that thing where every single time you just lay it on the table for anyone that cares to listen you give people ways you tell people ways that you're vulnerable for them to attack you that's what it is and i am not saying to always put up a strong front because obviously you need people you need help when something isn't going right you've tried every means to fix it and it's not just working obviously you reach out to people that you think can help you but why i am saying this is again not everyone has your best interests at heart you can find a few people that you would trust and let them in on like this different area of concerns in your life but if you do not absolutely feel like they have your best interests at heart which you should always consider before you open your mouth do not 
open your mouth i know it's hard to tell if someone genuinely cares about you but that's why you have one person or two i do not i will never recommend a human being especially a woman having five six seven eight nine ten friends close friends you're deceiving yourself i'm not saying that you're not going to have you can't have 10 friends that you chat with you love yeah but to have 10 close friends you are fooling yourself <laughs> you're killing yourself i always say one person is enough maximum two that you sit and you discuss some core things with you trust if tomorrow you hear it outside or if tomorrow something happens you know where it came from it's hard to tell where the leak came from it's hard to tell where all of the problems stems from right when there are just too many people who, who like you've been vulnerable around the last thing that i recommend that you keep quiet about keep private shut up is the kind deeds and the help that you render to people now this one had to come in and also come in as number five because it's a bonus one first of all it was last me that i just threw this in there because i watched something on instagram and i was like yeah this is something that you should shut up about because thank you so much for being a kind person to this other person for giving them what they didn't have for helping them through the difficult times but we do not need to know it's between you and god your reward comes from heaven you don't need to share with us how much of a nice person you are and that's the thing most people actually do this because they are proud of themselves which is fine you can be proud of yourself for being a kind person you can be proud of yourself for actually going out of your way for somebody else because obviously you see yourself as you know doing the lord's work do you understand i get that but to publicly come out and say oh i helped this person's life i did this i did that it's because of me this person is breathing today this is you bragging at this point this is you trying to slap the other person in the face this is you trying to bring the other person down you can be doing somebody good but be killing them at the same time this is exactly what it is like why would you have to tell everybody that you borrowed any money at the time that i needed money why why that is just being evil because it's between you and i whatever happens even if the person turns out to be terrible towards you after rendering that help to them i don't see any reason why four five six seven eight nine three eight social media has to hear about it, especially social media there are people that i've seen there are some people on instagram that i've seen that actually does these type of videos that they you know go out and help people those ones are actually nice they are showing it because uh i feel like the other people see that there are people going through these type of things and i've seen so many situations that from sharing the videos and um, on instagram has actually brought about a lot of donations for people and helped more people because people are seeing that there are these people that actually do need help and they're just creating awareness you get what i mean that one i'm okay with I'm talking to you i'm talking about an individual like a human being a woman as you are i just feel like it's tacky it is not classy for you to open your mouth wow and just be like jenna needed three thousand and i mean I, she asked me for it and then i gave it to her from the kindness of my heart at this point who asked you who asked you who asked you or you come on social media and tell you and, and type that thing that girls like to do because there's not this i'm going to talk about this like all this plenty plenty typing typing it's not necessary you're the one that end up fooling yourself because the thing where you type and then be like oh so i can't believe i just gave out five thousand to Jeanette right now i'm such a nice person doesn't that sound weird like it doesn't no ah okay jesus died for us on the cross but you don't see him shouting up and down that you are he is the he's the reason why you are breathing although we we know he's the reason like you were put in that situation to help by god it's not even by your power so shut up and you think it's your hard work because there are a lot of hard workers on the streets that are still you know in the trenches but you your hard work has paid off and now you want to be bearer going up and down excuse me hello come on i've seen a lot of it on instagram like people just kind of talk about what what they've done what they are doing for somebody if not for me this you know i'm just like can you just drop the shoulders a bit you know drop it humility goes a long way it's like you someone doesn't someone doesn't have to talk you don't have to talk for someone to actually see that you're a nice person you don't have to say anything you don't have to prove yourself most people actually do these things because they're trying to prove a point to who 
to who because whether you have it or you don't have it or whether you did or you did not do it somebody that is terrible is terrible and people that are going to stick with you will stick with you that's just how it is this is life shut up about so many things shut up shut up anyway that's everything that i have for this video i hope you guys learned something or two i hope you took something away from this video if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and follow me i have it linked in the description as well on the screen i'm sure you've seen it floating around somewhere right thank you thank you thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye